Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. What is up? Top Gang on 123 here once again with our Hearts of Iron 4 Officer School video for you guys. And today, what we're going to be doing is covering how to defend yourself against larger enemy nations. Now, this video is actually coming at you guys by the request of a YouTuber who was in our live stream the other night who mentioned that he wanted this turned into a video. He wanted to know how to defend himself against larger nations, and I cannot remember his name just off the top of my head. However, if you guys want a uh, tutorial made, all you have to do is go in the comment section below, type in what you're trying to figure out how to do, and I will do my best to make a video and show well how to do it. And just like uh, our buddy's request here that was in the live stream the other night. I'm showing you guys today how to defend yourself. Now we picked we picked Austria, basically because it's a pretty easily invaded country, and hopefully we can stop the Germans from actually invading, which they're going to do tomorrow. Yeah, they're going to invade us tomorrow on February 24th. So we've got about five things here that work for pretty much almost all the nations on this game, and no matter who you're playing as, you can probably implement at least one of these things to help your divisions do a lot better defense. So, first off, it is going to be, and this is going to kind of depend on your uh, infrastructure here and everything and your build power, but build level 3 bunkers. That's what I always enjoy doing to defend yourself. Now, I know you guys are seeing some level 5 bunkers, but I'm going to talk about that in just a moment here. But uh, I personally prefer level 3 bunkers. I don't know why I always like level 3. It's just that's an easy number that I like. So, basically, if you don't know, bunkers pretty much lower the attack of the enemy unit by around 15 percent and these work tremendously well as level threes now you can build these in a couple ways if you're czechoslovakia as you can see actually the ai czechoslovakia right now is building a lot of bunkers as well these are in the focus trees for pretty much all nations somewhere you can build a bunker we got the west wall for germany we got poland i can't remember what theirs is but i know they have one in here somewhere to build bunkers here it is uh, add coastal forts and uh, all this other stuff around Danzig and uh, Krakow. Then we've also got one for Russia, which adds 28 land forts. Yes, 28 land forts around Moscow. It only takes 35 days. So, in playing as Austria, we have those already with the fortify the Danube and Drava rivers and fortify Austrian Alps. Now, the rivers don't really help us that much. They're uh, back in here. They don't really help unless you're going to be going to war with Italy very soon and you don't really have any bunkers in the south, then that might be able to help you out if you know you're going to fall back a lot, or maybe against uh, Yugoslavia or something. But uh, that's going to be the first one, is going to be building bunkers. Now for the second one, is going to be build a largely infantry army. I cannot stress that enough, and it is a very simple reason. Depending on your nation, and pretty much every nation works this way, your infantry division is going to be your best division for defense and i'm going to explain how to set this up you can either do this one of two ways depending on your manpower you can either do half of this or do full of this like copy this exactly or do half now the reason is is i'm going to show you right here people would probably assume well don't you want to throw some artillery in there besides the support artillery which i have in there because it adds just a little bit extra defense if we add artillery our defense goes down our breakthrough goes up our attack goes up but we're talking about defense in this video and our manpower goes down too. However, if we have support artillery, it helps just a tad. I mean, just a tad with defense. It doesn't really do that much, but it does help a little bit and every little bit helps, especially if you're playing as Austria against Germany. And the reason you want to do that, another reason is because infantry equipment is not that hard to produce for nations. All you have to have is the steel production, which you can trade for and support equipment. That's all you really need. And depending on your nation, you'll also want to go ahead and pick either a logistics company or a field hospital and then recon company. Now, this next part here I'm going to be talking about is air superiority. Now, the reason you want air superiority is because depending on what nation you are, I'm Austria. I have a very small industry. As you can tell, I'm only being able to build one anti-aircraft weapon uh, at a time. Now, Germany, however, they've got way more bunkers. I mean, four, ugh. they have way more buildings, so they're actually able to build a lot more than me. But uh, at the same time, we don't want our stuff to get blown up before they can actually attack, you know, or get attacked. And if we have enough air superiority in the area, it'll also help us protect our bunkers, help us build the bunkers back up faster after they've been attacked. It'll also give our troops the uh, 
uh, bonuses for air superiority when being attacked, all that kinds of stuff. And it's really worth it to have a decent air force if you can do it. If you can't, though, that's fine. Just stick with the infantry-only division template. Now I've got two other areas here and then that's going to be uh, it and we're going to start this video and it's go off your battle plan doctrine. Now I prefer the grand battle plan doctrine here because it gives entrenchment bonuses uh, as you can tell and it gives 10% uh, de uh, defense to our infantry so that's going to add like 200 defense onto that 700 once we get this. And actually let's go ahead and do this right now. Research on icon click. And let's go ahead and get that so we can get that out of the way. Let's go ahead and turn this back off on icon click. Okay, so with that, that should have just increased our infantry. Okay, we're at 795 right now. And tomorrow we're going to let Jeremy declare on us and we'll check this, see what it changes to after we do that. So. Uh, the final thing is don't forget to use your military staff. Don't forget to use your military staff. And let me show you why. Almost every nation has a general for defense. Almost every one of them. And Germany is actually not picking any of them. But almost every nation on this game has people you can pick for defense. We've got 15% infantry division defense and 10% division defense right there. So we've got already a 25% bonus to our infantry. And now, once we hit this grand battle plan doctrine tomorrow, and uh, we're able to do prepare defense plus another 10%, we're getting 35% bonus on our divisions. Plus, on top of that, we're also getting the bunkers too. I mean, in all honesty, I cannot think of any way the Germans will be able to actually defeat us uh, even with paratroopers because we'll have air superiority here so it's really not that big of a worry so let's just go ahead and uh, do air superiority both ways and let Germany declare war on us and uh, let's pick something here really quick let's do let's do air force yeah air superiority chance all right let's go ahead and let Germany declare war uh, no Austria is gonna stay Austria so we're looking at probably an extra... Yep, there we go. German Reich has declared war. And as you can see, we're pretty much fighting them off everywhere. We are winning basically everywhere. And the casualties... They've already lost... Look at that. Look at those losses they're taking attacking our bunkers. And we've lost about 500 men. Look at that. That's just astonishing. Actually, I want to sit here a second and see how many troops they lose attacking our front line. I mean, look at this. This is insane. They've already lost 110,000 men, and they haven't even gained an inch in our country yet. They're already, their manpower is plummeting fast, you know? And Italy wants to send us convoys. Yeah, that's great. And see, now let's pause this here and slow down our thing here just a little bit here. And see, we have reserves, and they have... Look at this defense. We have, with all of our bonuses added up, 1,456 defense. They've only got 13 attack. Look at that. They have minus 35% because of terrain, or I mean fort, but they have some bonuses for planning. Now for us, look at that. We have a 40% entrenchment bonus, 25% country, 15% commander skill, and 15% experience. Not including... Our, that actually probably does include our land doctrine. So, I mean, as you can tell, these tips I have provided you guys work very well, depending on who you're at war with. I mean, Germany's already lost 200,000 men, and they're still gaining, dropping fast. And we've only lost 484 guys. And I don't even know how we lost that many. Like, it's not moved up in a while. And they're just constantly throwing troops at us, and... It's just not working for them. It's just not. It's not working at all. And in fact, hang on, I'm going to come back to this in just a moment. All right, guys, so this war has been going on for around three months now, and these casualties have been astonishing. I have not moved anything. I have not researched anything extra. We have been sitting here the entire time since the war started. They've already lost 976,000 troops. And the best part, Look at what their manpower is now. 
So if we really wanted to, by using those tips that I told you guys, we could probably march into Germany right now because of how low their manpower is. In fact, let's test that really quick. Let's just see how far we can get into Germany now because their manpower is just so low. All right, guys, so we're back, and it looks like Austria is about to take over Germany because they declared war on us, and we had our large line of bunkers that took... A little bit over 1.6 million men to fight off <laughs> and we lost 52,000 men when we started advancing but um, I mean their guys were just totally out of supply so they had no fighting chance so this just goes to show you guys right here how well those work now the only things that I've actually done on here was I added some equipment I added like I think 30,000 guns and added the airplanes that and then I built level 3 bunkers on everything that was all I've done Everything else was totally legit on this game. And that just goes to show you guys right there. And we're about to take Germany's last capital and make them capitulate. It looks like. Yep, we just took Hamburg. We just took Germany. So that just goes to show you guys right there what I was trying to explain. The main thing you guys have to do on this game. Thank you. <laughs> uh, that just goes to show you guys there's five main things to do on this game if you're going to be a defensive nation and it works to your advantage almost every time you do this and it's very simple it is your land doctrines do everything you can to get ahead I've got the uh, military theorist here so I was able to get it a little bit quicker uh, I've also got the uh, uh, division defense enabled I've got air superiority chance up a little bit and then another division defense and then we used our infantry, which because we were Austria, we didn't have that large of an army. This just goes to show you guys, like I was saying, using those five things, use level three forts on your border, use infantry because of the defense they give you and the production is not too crazy. If you can get air superiority, if you can use your military staff for bonuses on defense on top of the bunkers, you're pretty much like unable to be killed then the land doctrines which i think that was what really boosted us up that land doctrine right there this one for the defense plus 10 i think that with the bunkers and the generals is what totally wiped out germany because they lost 1.6 million and or well they had lost about 900,000 by the time i decided to start advancing i think and in like a couple months we wiped out germany so i mean it, it's truly amazing what you can do here if you follow these tips so guys i hope this video helped you guys out on how to defend yourself as a, a small nation and basically well how to be a boss <laughs> in all honesty and basically become a ruler of defense and be able to defend against any attack big or small you just need to follow those five steps i'll cover one more time use level three forts make infantry division templates because they give you the most defense and they give you a lot of product or don't require too much production to build them. If you can get it, get air superiority so you don't have to worry about your bunkers and uh, infrastructure getting blown up. And the land doctrine in generals. I mean, I don't know of a single player out there who can play as a nation who can't build at least level one forts on their entire border. You know, playing as a country in Europe. Every country here can do it. And if I can do it as Austria, I know you can do it as Poland or uh, Czechoslovakia. You know, these little... Uh, uh, Baltic countries kind of 50 50 you can do that but yeah guys that's pretty much it and one last time build level 3 bunkers use the infantry because of the defense and production you get or don't need get land doctrines use generals any nation on this game can do those four things right there air superiority is kind of a hard thing to get playing against Germany but those four things are what really helped us out in battle. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And like I said, if you guys want us to do a tutorial on how to play as a nation or uh, not play as a nation, but do something specifically like uh, how to do paratroop uh, invasions, how to, you know, like this, defend your uh, nation against a larger nation. Just post in the comment section below and you will get credit for the video. We will make sure to mention you in it. If, if, you leave it on the video uh, comment section on the Hearts of Iron 4 Officer School if we turn into a video. So guys, once again, thanks so much for watching. I will catch you guys later, and stay awesome.